Hey everybody, it's Daryl with Networthy. Back, uh, when I got off work, I came home and this is what I did. I got all this peeled up and got this over here peeled up. Now this over here, I got a, uh, a little farm all tractor I'll bring out and uh, I'll do, I don't know, probably four or five rows over here and uh, get a ground, a garden in the ground ready. Uh, drop my camera. So rock and roll over here. I got to clean my raised beds out and get some stuff planted in them. And then over here is going to be these things. And then I got four more over here. And I got to go to the hog house where I got these at. And uh, there's another grain bin I'm going to take apart over there. And uh, so I'll have eight total of them over here. I've got enough stuff to make the raised bed all the way down there at the end, and it's made out of that stuff that the uh, it's like the big sheets that they pour concrete on. I got another one of them. I'm probably going to end up making two. So, <coughs> and if I got room, I might go get another grain bin and make a couple more of these other round ones down here. Fill this area up with raised beds. I'm gonna bring in. Uh, chips wood chips i got to get up with the place there's a couple places around here that cut trees and stuff and i'm gonna see if they'll bring me some for free if they do i'm gonna get them to put it outside the gate and i can bring it in with a front end loader or something like that and i'm gonna do where my raised beds are not they're gonna have wood chips down here three or four inches thick keep the grass going and all that other stuff my my round raised beds i'm gonna set them down in the dirt just a little bit put a little dirt in them and either cover that dirt with newspaper or get up with some of these farmers right here that's got some old uh, bales of uh, hay that's been sitting in the field for three or four years and they're no good anymore see if I can get some of them load them up on a trailer bring them over here and use that as a like a weed layer and then put my compost on top of that and after a while in theory that grass that's uh, that's still in this right here should die out and shouldn't be able to come up through that and uh, help keep my beds weed free. I'm also going to run some water lines from this hydrant right here. Uh, water lines down here. I'm going to put them on a timer. That way they'll cycle on and off and water my raised beds. So, got a lot of projects to do. We won't get it all done this week, but we're going to try to knock it out. And of course, we got the bows there for the greenhouse that's going over here maybe could run in that length of the fence so i think it'll be 25 foot wide and about 78 foot long so lots of projects to get on the thing i got some seeds started i didn't do a video on that i should have did a video on the tractor i used a tractor with a tiller behind it to uh chew this up uh after i got through about halfway with it or whatever i was like crap i should have set up a time lapse or something but i didn't remember to do it uh when you work from five in the morning to five in the afternoon you got limited time so you come home bust your butt and try to get done what you can so that's an update on what's going on here at the fishers hope y'all doing good if you got any questions got any comments got any ideas on some other stuff that i can do out here uh leave them in the comments below and as always we'll see you on the next one